In this video, we're going to look at date formatting. I've got a date field in the row labels area, and we're going to see what happens when we format it and how the subtotals are affected if we add another field. This pivot table is based on sales data, and you can see there's the date in column A, and it's month slash day slash year. And when we look at the pivot table, the current formatting shows the day, the letters for the month, and a two-digit year. I'm going to change the formatting here. So I'm going to select all these cells. I'll go up to the Home tab on the ribbon and click the Dialog Launcher so I can go into the number formatting. And here I'm going to select Date. And then I'll select the date format that I want. So I would like the day dash month dash year and click OK. So that changes the formatting. And now I'm going to add another field in this row labels area. So I'll put category in. I'll just check the box there. It goes in under the order date. And we can see it here. And now there's a subtotal for each date. But the date here is formatted differently. The reason is because we selected the dates and just changed them on the worksheet rather than going into the number formatting for the field. So I'm going to right click on one of the dates go to Field Settings, and in here I'll click Number Format. That takes us back into the Format Cells dialog box, but this time we're formatting the field rather than the worksheet cells. So we'll go to Date, and select this Format again, and click OK. Click OK again, and now the same format is applied to the subtotals because we've formatted the field rather than the cells. So if you want consistent formatting with your row and column labels, make sure you use that number format feature rather than just formatting the cells. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.